You have the Samsung Galaxy, this is the S9, and you've had it for a while, and you're wondering, hey, can I make it go faster? It seems to be slowing down, so there's two ways to make it go faster. One, you should already know about, and if you don't, we'll show you. It's inside the settings. It's a few touches, and you can use that as regular maintenance every couple of days, once a week, maybe even every day. The second way, we're going to jump into the developer options, which is like the, the software of the phone. It, it's going to feel intimidating, but it's easy. We're going to make a few adjustments to how the phone runs, and then we'll compare this S9 to this S10e, and you'll see with your own eyes the few changes that we make is going to make the, the phone run faster. And then if you stick around, you don't like how the phone works after those changes, I'll show you how to undo them. So let's get into it. Let's get into settings. And you should... I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi you should be able to go to device care. Inside device care, this is the software. Uh, we're gonna hit optimize now, and it's internally gonna do these things for you. Background apps close, some free, free up some space, no high battery usage. I'm gonna click done, but there's still more to do. Couple more things. You can go to storage, okay? And we want to look at advanced. And we want to go to, hold on one sec. All right, in this older version, uh, there, there, there's not trash. It, it automatically moves it for you. So let's check memory then. And this one will tell us if we've got some memory. Hey, we can clean some memory. So 337 there's some things that we don't need to use Verizon, Diagnostics, My Files, and that will help your phone. You could do this, you know, every couple of days, once a day, depending on how much you use your phone. And that's really it, just the device care. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. All right, the next one, we're also going to jump into settings. Again, this is going to feel a little intimidating because we've got to do some cool stuff on the phone. We're going to go to About Phone. And inside About Phone, you're going to touch Software Information. And inside Software Information, you're going to look for Build Number. So all we're going to do is touch this. It's a secret kind of code. One, two, three. You should start seeing this message four, five, six, seven times. And it should say Developer Mode has been turned on. If it's not turned on, you got to touch it a few more times or it's already on. Okay, so that's all we have to do here. Let's back up one time. Let's back up two times. Now, inside settings below About Phone, developer options are going to show up. Touch developer options. By default, it's on. I'm going to turn it off so we can read the warning. Oop, turn it off so I can read the warning. The warning says, allow development settings. These settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the applications on it to break or misbehave. Okay. And I say that because we have to scroll way down to get to the options that we want and don't accidentally touch anything. If you accidentally touch something, just push cancel or undo it or get out of developer options. All right, let's move on. And we're looking for, this is, see how that's called debugging? We're looking for the headline called drawing. That one's networking. Input should be next. Input, and then after input is drawing. Drawing. This is what we're looking for right here. Windows animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale. Notice that they're all 1x as the default, and all you have to do to change it is touch it. Some people say uh, try 0.5. Definitely don't use the bigger numbers because then your phone is just going to run super slow. I like to do the animation, run my phone with the animations off. Okay, you might not like that, so try 0.5. But in this example, we're going to do animations off, and that's it. We're done. Let's go home and let's compare. So watch how quickly with your own eyes that the S9 runs faster than the S10e. Let's just open up the dialer. Blinks on, animates, grows out of its icon. Let's close it. Blinks off, animates, closes. Messenger. Blinks on, blinks off. Camera. Kind of about the same. Let's do it again. Camera. Blinks off, takes its time. Let's do camera one more time. Yeah, blinks on. So if you're a person that uses your phone and you're making a phone call, sending, sending a message, uploading a video, switching between apps, and you make these changes, your phone is going to feel snappier, quicker, 
faster. You saw it with your own eyes. Hey, if you do make those changes and you like how your phone runs now, leave a message in the comments. I appreciate it. Now, let's say that you don't like how it runs. Let's go change it back. All right, let's get back into settings. We're going to go down to developer options, which is already open. Let's scroll all the way down. We're looking for the drawing headline. There's networking. There's input and drawing. And remember, be careful not to touch other things. And then all we have to do is change these three back to 1x. Windows animation scale back to 1x. Transition animation scale, 1x. And animator duration scale back to 1x. To be extra safe, if you're the kind of person that needs to be, just turn developer options off. And then when you back out, it doesn't even show up beneath About Phone. All right, those are two ways to make your S9 run faster. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.